Hello everyone, praise the Lord, very good morning. I am happy that God has helped us to meet together even this wonderful morning. And may the grace of God and His glory surround you throughout this day and He shall lead you in your path in your life. And today's meditation is from the book of Acts chapter 4 verse 20. It says, as for us, we cannot help speaking about what we have seen and heard. Yesterday we meditated about how uh, Peter and John were ordered by the Sanhedrin and how they were threatened that they should not speak about Christ and the resurrection of Christ. This is the next verse, the following verse of that incident. And uh, in the first part, the reason for uh, announcing Christ or preaching Christ was mentioned in these two verses. And they say in the first verse that it is the command of God. That is why we are preaching Christ. In the second verse we read right now, it says, we, How can we stop ourselves from sharing to others what we have seen and heard from Jesus? My dear brothers and sisters, does it ring a bell to you? Does it ring a bell in your mind? I hope it does. Because we have experienced the grace of God so much in our life. We have experienced the love of God every minute. We have experienced the glory of God in every second of our life. We have, we have seen the hand of God, mighty deeds of God in every day to day life in our life. We have, seen, uh, we, have, we have seen our prayers being answered. We have seen our God speaking to us. We have seen our God transforming our, li our lives. We have seen God touching our lives and healing us. We have seen the greatness of God in so many ways. Then how can we stop ourselves from sharing to others? If you have experienced the greatness of God, if you have experienced the love of God, if you have experienced who God is, how can you stop yourself from sharing to others? That is what the that was that is what the apostles or uh, apostles are telling us or teaching us. If you have experienced, how can you stop yourself from preaching what you have seen, what you have heard? We have gone a step further that we have tasted our Jesus how can we stop ourselves from preach are you ready to preach Christ nothing should stop you because you have tasted him and it is your responsibility and my responsibility to tell others what we have seen what we have heard what we have experienced surely the blessing of God will be with you God bless